there, lovely people. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everybody. Ah. I'm just going to give you a minute or check in. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm waiting for the first person to put a comment and then I know you'll all be here and I can read your comments. I tested it earlier, so I know this is working. It's going to be awesome. Hello, everyone. Hi. Say hi to me. Say hi to me. Yes. Jess, I can see you. Tony, I can see you. I can see you. I don't know what happened, but hallelujah, the Facebook has been fixed. Hello. Hi. Yay! I don't know. I, I put a call in to Facebook at the weekend, so I'm hoping. Hey, Erin! So I'm hoping you could have seen. I don't know what they've done, but I'm glad it's back. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, everyone. Anybody notice that my hair's a bit darker? Anyone? Anyone notice? It's not brown, it's dark. Nobody's noticed. Not a single person. Nobody. <laughs> like, ah, Lisa, dark hair. Okay. Hi, hi from next door. Hallelujah, everything is working. I can see you love hearts, I can see everything. Oh my God, it's such an exciting day. Hello. So the first thing I need to tell you about while we're all checking in before I get into today's 100 day challenge is that we are gonna do a live workout this week on our Instagram. So not on Facebook, on Instagram. So if you are not one of our Instagram followers, you need to head to the Body Rock official Instagram and followers, because then you'll get a notification when we, um, when we do our live. So if you wanna do this special uh, workout that we're gonna be doing, you need to be on our Instagram, okay? So make sure that you head there. Very, very quickly as well, my app challenge, um, there's a five day sexy app challenge has gone live in Sweatflix today. So I'm gonna run through a couple of moves off there. Um, we're gonna go through that, thank you very much. Um, and we are also gonna go through today's 100 day challenge, which I think you're gonna absolutely love. We've also been talking this morning about the live workouts and how we're gonna bring them back. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they're gonna be coming back very soon. Um, so for all of you out there that are like, oh my God, I can't wait. They are on the cards, don't worry. So we've got that coming, which would, which is also super exciting. Um, the pink vest, which you saw Sean wearing earlier, is, I don't know how many of these there are left, by the way, so you need to crack on this. If you want one of the pink vests, hello. If you want one of the pink vests, you need to check um, the Body Rock store and pick yourself up one of these. Mm. It's not Valentine's Day today, it's tomorrow. Isn't it? Or is it today? No, it's tomorrow, 14th. Not that I need to know, but <laughs> there we go. So, um, pink vest time today for me. Awesome job. So we've got our pink vest on. Um, the app challenge, very, very quickly. While everyone's logging on, hello everybody, my name's Lisa. So while you are all logging on, um, we have a five day sexy app challenge that went live today. They are bonus ab workouts. So it's just like what you did with Sean. Sean did you a 12 minute um, ab workout. Every single day there's an ab workout waiting for you and it's all different. So we work the side obliques, we work the center abs, we work the lower abs, we work the upper abs. So once you finish your workout today, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head to Sweatflix. Uh, if you're not a member yet, head to Sweatflix, download the app, and you are gonna go there and you are gonna download, um, or you're gonna play, press play on today's ab workout. So every single day this week you've got an ab challenge. So we work the sides, we work these obliques, we work the center, we work the bottom, and we work the top. That is every single day I give you a different part of your abs to work. So that that is, honestly, it's the 14th someplace in the world. Of course it is. Happy Valentine's Day to those people who are in the 14th today. Mwah, big kisses to all of you. I hope that you're getting treated and spoiled exactly how you need to be. And if you're not, go and treat and spoil, spoil yourself. That's what you should be doing. So yes, <laughs> you could do with a good, a good, <laughs> very funny. All right, James. So, um, so after today's workout, whichever workout you're gonna do, you need to head to Sweatflix and you need to go to the Sexy Abs workout. We're gonna work all of your abs every single day. So every day there's, a, there's an ab workout there waiting for you. Um, if you haven't heard me yet, 
we are speaking about bringing the live workouts back in some kind of form or other so watch out for that it's coming up very quickly like in the next couple of weeks that's hopefully going to be set into place so that's very exciting um hit max is a killer you're absolutely right if you don't know what we're talking about hit max is one of my very like favorite workouts ever um and also the pink vest we've got very limited stocks in these i need to tell you so if you want one of these you need to get on it very quickly get these at bodyrock.tv happy valentine's for those of you that are in the 14th today now this is the exciting bit this is the exciting bit so yesterday i didn't have a lot of time on my hands actually to be fair with the weather and traveling I've actually been slacking quite a little bit, so I'm on it this week. I've really got to be on it, and I've got to make sure that I'm really pushing and making sure that I'm getting my food right, etc. I've prepped all my food this week. It's all there. Um, I'll show you pictures of that on my Instagram feed if you want, if you want me to show it. Um, so, what we're going to do today in our 100 day challenge is exactly what I did yesterday. Now, yesterday, I did it with more weight because I had more weight with me. I only have the weighted vest today and 20 pounds worth of weight. So that's my max weight. So you're going to have to go at your max. But what I'm going to do in the breakdown that I give you, I'm going to give you the weights that I used yesterday. So you can see how hard I would normally push. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go through with it th through it today because it's time. I don't need to worry about going to my uber uber at max. I can just go a bit faster with smaller weights. So if you're like me and you don't have massive, massive weights around you, what you're going to do is you're going to go a bit faster. That's all you're going to do because you're going to use low weight, high reps, which is what it's called. So you just go a bit faster, go a bit quicker, put a bit more effort into it, squeeze a bit harder, use the body force to go. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. If you have your max weights available, I know a lot of you have a space, we do in Toronto, but we're in Kingston right now. If you have your max weights, you really need to go to your max weight. So for example, um, my swings yesterday were with an 18 kilogram kettlebell. Obviously I don't have an 18 kilogram kettlebell here. I did yesterday but I don't hear, so I'm gonna go with the max weight I have today. But in the breakdown, I'm gonna put what my max was. So, it doesn't really matter because we're doing 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest. Then at the end, this is your challenge. At the end, you're gonna get a burnout, and the burnout is for reps. And that is the time period that you need to set your timer and you need to tell me what you could complete this in. So, I'm gonna go over that again. We've got 50 second rest, 50 second work with a 10 second rest, workout period at the end of this workout period you have a timed challenge that you need to post your time okay hi lisa has all the max weights in toronto yes that's right okay so that's what we're going to do today how is everybody how is monday the weather here is revolting it, to say the least it's horrible like it's so unmotivated it's ridiculous so just to check in every day and make sure that we're all keeping going together this is where it's going to get really tough if you've got rubbish weather like me you're probably feeling a bit because it's february there isn't really a word for it there's not really a word for it there's more of a noise for it so yeah so yeah it's horrible it's snowy it's it's just gross but that's what this is for this is to check in with you this is to keep you focused this is to keep you on track so today you've got your workout your 100 day challenge with me then you're going to go into sweatflix and you're going to complete your ab workout which is right there there's a workout for your abs every single day i've done it we did it in quebec we filmed it in quebec and it's right there waiting for you okay so that's what we're going to do so today is the 100 day challenge day 35 ha ah. so it is freezing yes ashley ashley smashed a workout today it's so hard when it's cold it's so hard when it's cold especially just to just get the will to get into the gym and train and keep going and keep on track of it all it's so hard i think that's why a lot of people balk in the winter because it's easier than just like trying to motivate yourself but what we do here we are bodyrock.tv and we check in with you every single day. So this last week you had the thousand rep challenge in Sweatflix. 
This week, you've got the ab challenge in sweat flicks. Next week, you're going to have another um, challenge going in sweat flicks. There's a new challenge in sweat flicks every single day. And not only that, me and Sean are going to check in. And the live workouts are going to start very, very soon. We've got it in the bag. We're working on it. So don't worry. So there's new workouts coming all the time. So if you still are not a sweat flicks member, download the sweat flicks app or click the link above this video. And remember, while you're on all, all on here, before I forget, there's a live workout going to be on our Instagram this week. So you need to click up, go and find us on Instagram, type in Body Rock Official, find us on Instagram, and you're going to get a free workout on Instagram this week, and it's going to be live. So you can check in and you can get another workout for free. So if you are not a Sweatflix member, please download the Sweatflix app. It's completely free. Um, join us and then we'll put you into the Body Rock Insider page and you can be part of this amazing community. So, talk over. Are you ready to train today? Are you ready to put it in? Are you ready? Are you ready? I've got my coffee. I need coffee today. Did you see the video I posted earlier? It's so cold here. It's ridiculous. Spilt it. Missed my gob. Are you ready guys and girls? Are ready to train? Hi, hi, I can see all of you. Hello. Hello. Okay, so, um, today's workout, you're going to need your interval timers. So you're going to set your timer for a 50 second work period and a 10 second rest. So I'm going to do this with you. And then the end is where we're going to get a bit nasty. The end is where you are going to... Um, <laughs> Eddie, you can go. Like, please feel free to leave. Um, actually, just leave. <laughs> like you don't have to watch you can go so that's fine so today is a hundred day challenge yes Melissa it's called strong sexy abs and it's five days that's gonna be the ab challenge okay so this is our weighted vest this is adding six pounds of resistance okay absolutely trolls 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 everywhere so this is our six pound weighted vest it adds six pounds worth of um resistance to all the workouts so what you're going to do is you're going to either add the six or the ten pound because we have a ten pound one as well and we also don't forget have it in blue if you want to have it in blue we give you one of these for free every time you buy one so you can give one to your workout partner you can give one to anyone you think needs some help to just be in the best shape of their life because that's what you're going to do you're going to give the gift of fitness so 100 day challenge day 35 are you ready for this you're going to set your timers which is we use a gym boss if you wonder what this is this is a gym boss you can get one of these on bodyrock.tv it sets an interval if you notice look i've got a 10 second rest period and a 50 second interval and that is what we're working today so we start with the 10 second rest and then we go on to the 50 second workout period so we have got a group of exercises together again i'm going to post you what my max weight was yesterday when i did it and then at the end we've got a timed bonus and i've done that and i've done that as well so i'll, I'll post what my time was as well so we are going to do this together. You are going to get ready. Are you ready to do it? If you want to do this again, if you're watching me right now and you want to do this again, you can just press play on this later. If you want the longer version of this workout, it's in Sweatflix. So you need to head to Sweatflix to download this workout. Well, not to download it. You can just press play and do it. So if you want to do the longer version of this workout, head to the live workouts in Sweatflix. I'm going to do this as my 100 day challenge today. So every day I set you a little mini challenge that you're going to do. Now it's time to train. Are you ready? So 100 day challenge number 35 already. So every single thing I'm going to do, I'm going to elevate. So even the push-ups I'm going to elevate, my abs I'm going to elevate, everything I'm going to elevate. Okay, so we work on the 50 seconds. You've got 10 seconds rest. We start with push-ups. Are you ready? I'm going to open this door a little bit because it's like an oven in here. For those of you that don't know, Canada has that heating system where it's like a, a hairdryer. And all of a sudden it's like red hot and then it turns off and then it's dead cold. And then it turns on and it's red hot. That's how it does it. So, are you ready? Are you steady? Ready? Thank you for all your love, by the way. I can see your comments. You don't need to, don't, just don't give them any, um, there's always somebody on here that's always just a hater. So just don't give him any, any of your attention. He doesn't deserve attention. Eddie, just jog on. We don't want to talk to you anyway. 
You're not invited at our table, off you go. <laughs> Ready, 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds, then we move on to push-ups. So we're gonna do push-ups off our challenger bars because if you can, you are. Let's go. my first round. So next one, goblet squat and press, toes are out. So you come all the way down, press up, down, up, again, using your weighted vest, drive up, sit back, flat back, go. Swings. You ready? Let's go. Swing forward. Good. Come on. Swings all the way. I want you to go at your max weight, your max rep. So your back is flat, you drive through the hips. All the way. You're halfway. Keep going. Keep pushing. Pull them abs in. Pull that ass in. Swing. Ten seconds. Good job. Can you see how my head is high? Abs are in. And I squeeze. Two. Last one. Next one, reverse pull-ups. If you don't have challenger bars, which you can get at the Body Rock store, which are these. You're gonna use a bent over row, which I'll show you all of the time. So let's go. Using your vest, up you go. So make sure your back is flat, abs are in. Drive up through the chest, all the way up, all the way down. Good. Weight is in the heels. Use the arms to lift, use the excess weight in the vest to push you. Go. Good job, keep going. So let's go. Using 10 pounds because that's all I've got. Bicep curl, press, take it down. No swinging. Down. Bicep curl, press, take it down. Good. Up, press, take it down. Up, press, take it down. Good job, really good job. Bicep curl, press, take it down. Let's go. Take it down. Bicep curl, press, take it down. Come on. Keep going. Seven seconds. 
Good job. Down. Awesome job. Next one. If you have the space, I would like you to do walking lunges. If you don't have the space, then just do single lunges. I would like you to do walking lunges if you can. With max weight, maybe you can do backwards as well. Work on your balance. Here I come. I'm coming forward. If you can't do walking lunges, if you don't have the room, all you're gonna do is just stay with the lunges. Stay with the lunges back and forward. But if you can do walking lunges, it helps work on balance, agility, posture, keep going all the way, good job, time, single arm clean and press is next, so yeah, I'm going to try and use two weights if I can, so you come down, come up, drive, now one, the, the squat in the middle, drive, up, squat, Take it down. Now I'm using the weights that I've got. Uh, yesterday for this, I used a 16 pound weight. 16 kilogram, sorry. 16 kilogram. Up, down, up, up. Good job. Down, up, squat. I don't just want to hold one weight because that's too light for me. Good. Keep going down, single arm, clean, press. Good job, single arm, clean, press. Good, come on. Time, okay. Next one, bunny hop with a jump. So, again, if you don't have any room, you can just do the way you're standing, but I'd like you to do it where you do a bunny hop, push up, come in, to jump. Bunny hop, jump in, push up, tuck jump. Okay, and you can start again if you wish. Bunny hop. Bunny hop, push up, tuck jump. This is the plyometric part of your workout. Come in, tuck jump, bunny hop. Push up, come in, tuck jump, take it back. Bunny hop, push up, come in, tuck jump. Nice job. How you doing? Hanging abs are next. So, get your challenger bars. Now you can do abs on the floor if you wish. But I'd like you to do them with your challenger bars. Come up, take it down. Push. Keep going. Good. All the way up. All the way down. Hello, everybody. Down. two minutes either skipping or high knees so two rounds skipping or high knees that's what you're gonna do okay so so at the high knees like I'll be doing because I just don't have a skipping rope you have to go hard you have to go fast you have to put it in if you can't do skipping maybe you're gonna do jumping jacks I don't care what it is but it's two rounds and you're gonna put it in Use your abs, use your core, shush. Ten. Nine. 
three, two, last one. Have a rest, one more round of that. You got one more round, okay? So if you wanna do skipping, do skipping. If you wanna do high knees, do high knees. Whatever you're gonna do, you got two rounds of it. Before you go on to do all that again, let's go. Knees up, abs in, drive it home. Shush. You don't listen. Come on, let's push. Good job. 20 seconds. Start again, we do them all again. Let's go. We start again, we do them all again. It's your second round. Start with push ups if you can. Elevate, let's go. Abs in, chest to the floor. Okay, goblet squat and press. Let's go. Hold it. Let's have it. Go down. Squat up. So when you sit back, make sure you're sitting right back. Up you go. Down. Toes slightly pointed out. Head high. Sit back. Drive up. Go. Come on. Go. Good job. Good job, people. Twelve, ten. Two, last one. So again, if you want this workout, the full one, it's in sweat flakes. This is our 100 day challenge today. Are we ready? Next one, swings. Again, go for as hard as you can. I'm gonna post what I used yesterday. So with swings, I used 16 kilograms yesterday. You drive back with the hips. Come on, let's go. Good job, I'm right with you. Monday's on, we take Monday in our stride with max weight through this challenge and then you're going to hit head to sweat flakes and smash out the ab workout that I've posted in there today, working the front of the abs, then we work obliques, then we work the tops and then we work the bottoms all the way through the week. Two, three, two, last one. Reverse pull-ups again. If you don't have a challenge bar, you do bent over row. Are you ready? I'm gonna use a single one this time. Show you how you can mix it up. Let's go. Remember, the vest is only gonna make you work harder. Good job. Can you see me? Look onto the side a little bit. Hi everyone. I can see you. You can change your hand grip, which will put more emphasis on the bicep if you do it with your palms facing away. Breathe. I know it's hard with the extra vest. I get it, I'm with you. Go. Time, nice job. Uh, 
curl and press is next. So really, really think about what weight you're going to use. I used, listen to what I'm saying now, I used 25 pounds each side. Listen, 25 each side yesterday. That's my max. So I didn't go fast, but I went heavy and I went hard and I went as strong and as deep as I could. You need a, a weight that pushes you every single rep. If you don't have that kind of weight, then try to go a bit faster. Try to squeeze a bit harder. Come on. Lift. 12. 10. Good job. Three, two, last one. So walking lunges. I really want you to do walking lunges. If you can't do walking lunges, you just stay where you are. Okay? So if you can't do walking lunges, you're just gonna lunge, come back, lunge. If you can do walking lunges, do walking lunges. If you want to make this harder, put the weights above your head. Create some more lever, but make sure that that knee is not going over the front of your toe. You can also hold them here. That's easier for you. Down. Twenty-two. Go. Good job. Good job. clean and press. So with my single arm clean and press yesterday, I used 16 kilograms. So listen to that, 16 kilograms, that's what I'm doing. Down you go, clean to your shoulder, squat, press, that's what I want from you. Down, watch my back, flat back, knees aren't over the toes, come up, squat down, knees aren't over the toes, drive up. Get your form right. Down. Try not to drop your weights. It's a bit more difficult when this is all you've got. Everything's in front. You just gotta work with it though. Let's go. Come on. Three, two, last one. So, bunny hop, push up, tuck. Are you ready? This is your plyo section of the workout. So again, one bunny hop, one push up, one tuck, jump up, one bunny hop, one push up, one tuck, get it up, start again, reset. next abs are next let's go let's come close enough so you can see so uh, this time I'm going to slightly open my knees to each side and I'm also going to touch the floor every time to stop me swinging I'm going to touch the floor at the back back now if you don't have Challenges, you can use whatever you want. Feet together, don't swing. Touch it, hold it, out. Touch it, hold it, in. Good job. Good job. Knees out to the side, working differently. Down. Four, three, two, last one. Okay, so you finish off with two rounds of skipping. 
or high knees if you don't have a skipping rope. If you do high knees, you can do it with me. <sighs> Ready? Let's go. So, if you don't have a skipping rope, you just do high knees like me. You can do jumping jacks if you wish. Whatever it is, just end on two rounds. It's today's 100 day challenge. This is for you. There are only small challenges, but they're to add to all your workouts to give you an extra boost in your day. Push. 10 seconds. Breathe. Time. One more round. Ready? And then we go on to the really major part of this workout today. This is just to warm you up. I oh, know. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Can you hear? Every now and then you'll hear a click. It's actually in my foot. I broke a metatarsal in my foot doing cross country over some grass. And ever since then I've had a click in my foot when I jump. It's weird. It doesn't feel like anything, but you can hear it if you listen more carefully. Three, two, last one. Okay, so so that was the warm-up for the actual challenge for today. That's your warm-up. It's two rounds, 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest, okay? So it's 22 rounds in total. So that's 22 minutes. The next round is gonna take probably about five minutes of your time, maybe 10 minutes of your time. I wonder how much my, uh, I can't remember how much how my time was. I can post it. I, actually, it might still, still be on my watch from yesterday. No, it's not. So you are going to set, you're gonna set your timers for a stopwatch, okay? That's what you're gonna do. This is the main part of the 100 day challenge today. This is the part that I want you to share on the insider group. This is the part that I want you to post on Instagram. This is the part that I want you to share, okay? So now you've done your warm up, you're nice and warm, you're ready to go, you're in it. If you have not pushed your max through all of that and you're not sweating like, I, like I'm sweating and that's not even my max weight. So if you are not sweating through that, you haven't pushed hard enough, you haven't worked hard enough, you need to get a vest. So, that workout did push-ups, it did pull-ups, it did abs, it's done shoulders, it did lunges to warm your legs up, it's done goblet squats to work your inner thighs. So we are completely warm now. We are warm and we are ready to go. So the next part of this workout is for time. Working on the 25 reps. So, I have already done this. I'll post my time and I'll post my scores, as I always do, under this video, and then I'll also repost it again individually and post a separate video with it all in. Um, I used 25 pounds for my biceps, 20 pounds for my rows, my bent over rows, 20 pounds. I used 30 pounds for my bent over flies, so my, put my bent over flies. I used 25 pounds for my shoulders, um, 15 pounds for my flies because I find that if I use any more than 15 I can't keep my arms straight, so just 15 each side. 25 pound for my front raise, tricep dips I elevated off the challenger bars, and then my overhead abs, which is from the live that I did the other day, I used my balance trainer, so I went over, over the balance trainer and came in, but I held a 25 pound weight. So, that is what I did. I'm gonna quickly go through each one with you, and then you are gonna post that for time. So, are you ready? So, very, very quickly, we have got, Bicep curls for 25, okay? So you're gonna come all the way down, all the way up. Bicep curls, 25. I use 25 pound a side for this one, okay? So bicep curls. Then we did bent over flies. Now bent over flies involves sticking out your ass, your back is flat, that is a bent over fly. And then you come out to the side with your head down. So your head should be down, you're, you're pinching the back, okay? 
So you come back, take it down. So that's two. Whatever your weight is where you feel it and you can hold it at the top comfortably without, without doing this and on that, that's not what I want. I'd rather use five pound and get it right and squeeze your shoulder blades together. I'd rather you do that than go up in weight and, and just be swinging. Then we did bent over row. Now, for my bent over row, I use 30 pound a side. So hold on to something, you come back in a row, take it down. Back in a row, take it down. 25, one side, and then 25, the other side. For that one, I use 30 pounds a side, okay? Then we did shoulder press. So, again, 25 shoulder press. Now my shoulder press, I varied because 25 was a lot for me. So I varied it between coming all the way down and turning at the top. You see how my hands go from sideways, face my palms go from facing me to facing the front. Facing me to facing the front. I did that one and I also changed it for this one as well where I touch my hands together, take them out to the side, touch my hands together. But no, 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 none of it was this. None of it was that. I held myself tall and I just had a rest when I felt like that my form was going. It's not about speed, remember. It is for time, but you have to make sure that you're not swinging the body, okay? So we did shoulder press, then we did flies. Now flies is one of the hardest ones because everybody wants to do that. You've got to find a weight that you can lift to the side comfortably, all the way down, okay? So I did 25 flies, getting them flies going. Then we did a front raise. So my flies were 15 pounds, my front raise, you come up to your shoulders, take it down. Come up to your shoulders, take it down. Take it down. So that was 25 pounds, one weight. Then we did tricep dips. I used my challenge bars. You do these all the time. You can either come off the back of a table and do them this way, which is what I always tell you to do, or if you're an advanced um, body worker. I didn't have my vest, so I just did body weight and I did 25. Up and down. By this time, your arms are tired anyway. So I did 25 um, of my triceps, and then I did abs with my balance trainer. So like I did at the weekend, uh, last week on my live. If you don't have your balance trainer, just get yourself on the floor, get yourself a weight. Your weight comes over your head, and then you come up, and then come up. Now you can do that one if you prefer that one, or I would if I was you. I would just Squeeze up, take it down. Squeeze up, take it down and hold it. Squeeze, hold it for a second, take it down. Make sure it's your abs that's doing all the work though, okay? If you want to, you can even take your legs away. Squeeze, take it down. Just hold the weight and help it to make you work harder. And did that for 25. So, I'm gonna post that. We worked on the 25, that is your challenge and you're gonna do that for time and you're gonna post how long that took you. Very quickly, so you're gonna do that, okay? I'm expecting to see your time, I'm gonna post my time. Um, I can't remember what it was, I think. I wanna say, t I wonder if I've got it somewhere, hang on. Hang on, I might have it in my breakdown on my computer. No, I haven't got it on my computer. So, I've got it on my phone, I took a picture of it, so I'll, I'll post that. Um, so, you are going to do your warm up, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, then you're gonna get your timer set and you're gonna smash those last couple out just when you're tired and you think you have nothing else to give, you're gonna give it to me for 25 reps all the way through, full body, biceps, triceps, shoulders, abs, uh, shoulders, you're gonna really, really go hard and you're gonna give it to me. So, that is what you're gonna do. Then, you're gonna head to Sweat Flicks and you are gonna finish off with today's ab workout. There's an ab challenge, a five day ab challenge, and it's not just the same workout. We work top abs, we work bottom abs, we work side obliques, we work the center. Every single day is a different ab, so you're gonna add that to your day. It's, it's very short, but it's gonna work, and every single day you're gonna add that. So that's in Sweat Flicks. It's called the Sexy Ab Challenge. And more importantly, the first thing you're gonna do when you stop watching me is head to our Instagram page, and followers because we're going to give you a free workout on Instagram and that's probably going to be a regular thing so if you follow us on Instagram we're going to give you a free workout this week and you're going to see it pop up and you're going to be able to do it and it's going to be awesome so you're going to get a brand new free workout on Instagram for nothing all you need to do is just follow us or head to our Instagram page so see you Chris so 
if you want to do this this full workout it's in sweatflix it's in our live workouts so all you need to do is head to the app store and download sweatflix if you want any of the equipment that you've been looking at that i've been using today whether you want the six pound or the ten pound vest or the pink vest head to bodyrock.tv and you'll be able to download uh, you'll be able to buy all of our equipment here and we work out every single day in our living room and if you are a sweatflix member we're going to put you in the bodyrock insider facebook group which is an exclusive group exclusive to our followers and you can go in there and you can see just how amazing and how much weight people are losing you've got five months to christmas people this is where we need to lock it down let's give ourselves five months of awesome dedication download the app it's completely free um, and then head to our instagram and get your free workout in this week you're going to get a brand new even if you don't follow us it'll be a free workout and it's on instagram just look for the body rock official instagram or click the link above this video, it's right above here. Yes, we do ship to Australia, Julie. If you're struggling, go to bodyrock.tv and a little man will pop up in the corner, give him a bit of a text, and he'll help you and direct you in the right place. Linda, it's one of the um, Friday live workouts. It's called like something like Total Strength or something like that. It's like a strength workout. It's one of my Friday workouts. So head to the lives and get the full workout there. It's a Friday live workout. Do you answer people that you don't get to during the live workouts? Do you answer people that you don't get to during the live workouts? I answer people after this, is that what you mean? Yeah, I come back on after, yeah. No, I'm not, Rosa. It can be, Than. Just click the link above this video and come and join us. We are. We take you right from beginner right up to intermediate and we show you loads of different things. We do ship to Ireland, Sarah, yep. We do, we ship to the UK, we ship everywhere, so yep, yeah, you can get that. Oh, thank you. My cat, I have eyes like cat eyes. Is that a good thing? I don't know. How can you be live saying it's five months to Christmas? I didn't, five months to Christmas? I said it's five weeks till summer. Is that, did I say five months till Christmas? Sorry, I mean five weeks to summer, Eileen. I am definitely live, look. I'm definitely live, believe me. I'm working for my money. I'm working for my money. I'm dead. No, I am live. Believe me, I'm live. <laughs> you can see it says here, look, live. Elisa is live. Yeah, I'm definitely live. I can do some shapes if you want me to, just to like prove it. This one from the 80s. Oh, she's how old I am. <laughs> so, um, if you want to join my workout, if you want to um, train with me every single day, you just head to sweatflix.com. If you want to do the advanced version of this workout that you just saw, this is for the 100 day challenge. Um, I'm going to repost. I post all of my weights and my score and my times. Please make sure that you do yours as well, especially on the Body Rock Insider page. All of you insiders out there, I want to see your times. Me and Sean love to see you all, especially the dances that you did at the end of his workout. Oh my God, it was amazing. They were so good. So good. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, dancing. I love a good boogie. I love a good dance. So, um, how many burpees can you do in one minute? Oh, I don't know. I've done a 100 day challenge with it on. I should have really wrote it down. Hi. Oh, thank you, Carmen. That's so nice. So now, wouldn't it be cool if we could all meet each other and do like a get together? Somebody asked me what I would do if I won like the lottery, that's what I'd do. Pamela, I can definitely help you. All you need to do is go to Sweatflix or go to bodyrock.tv and I can help you get in the best shape of your life. You just need to um, sign up and we can work out together every single day. Yes, we do answer questions. Yes, we do, Selena. You know, go to our Facebook pages and we can answer you there. Unless it's about equipment or anything like that. And we can um, we can do it on the Body Rock website. There's a little man in the corner that helps you with that. Hi, Laura. Hi, I'm from the UK. Please, can you dance a bit? <laughs> dance, puppy girl. <laughs> See, it's hard when there's no Michael Jackson playing and I'm not like in the zone. How much is it to become a member? You are, it's absolutely free. Katri, Katra, Katrara, Katrara, Katara, Katara, it's absolutely free. 30 days will give you for absolutely free and then it's 9.99 a month if you want to continue. If you don't, you don't have to. But once you get in your Body Rock Insider page, you just wait. You just wait and see how much your life changes. It's amazing. 
thanks for coming up. I guess I'm mixed between Christmas and summer. Sorry, Eileen. I'm definitely here though. I'm definitely live. Definitely live. So, you are gonna do today's challenge and then you're gonna go into Sweatflix and you're gonna do today's one, uh, today's ab challenge as well and you are gonna stay focused and committed. You have got this, okay? We go to Toronto again tonight, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be back live with you in front of Toronto tomorrow, albeit the weather. Um, and are you going anywhere nice this summer? Pamela, I'll probably end up going to Spain again because that is like a second home to me. Um, and I can go there on my own without it being um, being too dangerous because you know how it is. It's a gated community and everybody knows me, so it's very easy for me to go there on my own. Um, but I'm not sure, I don't know what's happening with all of us. We're just honestly, we're trying to just lock down the fact that we're trying to bring you live workouts every day again and we are trying to get you like a new workout every single day in Sweatflix so that's our main goal right now we're just all just locking down and trying to make this the best it can be so yeah thank you Tony it will change your life it will change your life come and join us oh Joe I'm not going yet I wish I was going you look like you've been to some nice places Joe I get jealous of your pictures that's for sure oh sorry Laura huh. Hi, hi. You like my teeth? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. So, the girl holding a cup talking live on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's not Valentine's Day here though, not till tomorrow. So, if you've got Valentine's Day where you are, you shouldn't be watching me. You should be getting, um, you know, either treating yourself or you should be treating each other. <laughs> So off you go. Bound chicka bow. Freddy's gone. Oh, he's gone. He's come and gone. He's gone. No. Susan, Freddy's gone. So, oh, Studley Ben had a new haircut today. I want to shout out to Studley Ben. We had a conversation the other day because Studley Ben has got the same hair as me, which is generally like just hair that does nothing. Like if straighteners weren't invented, we would be just like Monica, our friends, when she goes to Barbados. That's how we would live. So Studley Ben has curly frizzy hair and I was kind of like, uh, what are you going to do with it? You should have it cut short and he was like, I've just cut it. And I was like, do you know what you should do? You should cut it short. And then he just went for it and he's had a new haircut. He's got new things going on. I've had my hair darkened if anybody's even noticed. I don't think they have. I fancy the change. And also when you darken your hair, it looks thicker as well, I think. Anyway, it's not that much different, but went for a change. But Studley Ben, when you see him next week, he's had his hair cut. So you all have to say how nice his hair is. So make sure you um, you say hi to Studley Ben. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm drinking black coffee. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. That is your 100 day challenge today. If you wanna take part in that, I expect to see your posts on it. Please head to Sweatflix and get your ab workout done today. It's in Sweatflix, it's called the five day um, sexy ab challenge. Every single day I work a different part of your abs. Add it to the end of your workout. It's your finisher today, okay? Let me know what time you did all of the uh, finisher in. I'm gonna post it right now under this video what my weights were and what my time. Thank you, Caroline. What my weights and my time was, and you can see if you can just go to your max. The, the thing I want you to finish on is the finisher. The finisher is where you've got to go hard and go heavy. It's only 25 reps, but I don't want you to just go through it. I want you to push to your max. Even if I had to stop after five reps, go. Stop after five reps, go. Stop after five reps, that's how I had to do it. So. The best way to cook body fat, Mickey, is diet. If you want my diet plan, it's in the bodyrock.tv store. You can download it. Just go and download it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm 36. Wow. I never thought I'd be 36. I remember being 16 and 21 and thinking, oh, God, I'm never going to be that old. tell you what do you want to come and have a look let me show you so obviously the weather has been rubbishy I'm going to show you this very quickly and then we're going to end because I thought I would just show you a bit of a treat so obviously the weather here as I've showed you is like this it's pretty rubbish so yesterday I was like you know what I need to lock this down I need to sort out my diet I need to get back on it because we're traveling so much and we sit for literally like four or five hours in a car 
I was like, I need, like, do you remember what I told you on Saturday that I felt tired because we were in the car and there was nowhere to eat and we didn't have enough food in the day? It's like, this is not gonna happen again. So I've prepared, you'll be dead proud of me. So we have, check it, this is my meal prep. Oh my God. So guys and girls, this is my meal prep. So I've done four meals. So this is gonna get me through traveling. So if I open it up. Here we go. So we've got asparagus, brown rice, and chicken. So I've got enough chicken, the same as my fist, maybe just a little bit less. Um, some asparagus and some brown rice. And I've got four of them prepped. So when I go traveling tonight, I'm gonna be on it. When I get in and it's late and I've got no food, I'm gonna be on it. This is what you need to do. You need to prep all the time. So that that's what I do. So again, um, in here, let's see if I've got it. Yeah, I have. So, for those of you that want to know what my snack is, one of Sean's favourites, I've got my Anka mousse in there. I've got a scoop of um, almond butter and a scoop of strawberry protein and half a tub of Greek yogurt. Low, low um, fat, high protein, low sugar. And that is a snack and I can eat that in the car. So I'm now prepped. So yes, last week when I felt down and miserable and I was a bit like lethargic in my workout on Saturday because I didn't eat enough on Friday, that is not gonna happen anymore. So I've, I've learned from that mistake and I've prepped. This is what I keep trying to, um, trying to tell you to do. This is what I keep trying to tell you. You need to make sure that you are eating. I know a lot of you come on here and you're all haters and you're like, oh my God, she's so thin and she's so anemic. I'm not, I honestly eat as much as all the boys on this team, I promise you. Like, I, I eat probably maybe a little bit more than the boys on these teams someday. And that's why it's so much harder for me to stay in good shape and good and keep lean because it's very easy to overeat. So for those of you that think that you can just eat nothing, it's not the deal. You need to make sure that you're prepping. You need to make sure that you've got your meals in check. So, so last week when I said it was my own fault, I wasn't prepping, I wasn't prepped. I didn't eat enough on Friday and now Saturday I feel like crap because I didn't eat enough Friday. I've, re I've put that in the bag. So I've got food ready to go. So when we travel tonight, when I get to my um, room this evening, when we get into Toronto, I'm ready and I have something to eat. And it's not just going to be something that I can grab on hand. It's something that I know will keep me focused and will keep me on track. So if you are traveling anywhere, if you feel like you are not eating the right foods, it's down to you. I can't do it for you. I can show you how to do it. I can keep showing you the things that I do, but it's down to you. I can give you the tools. I cannot build the wall for you. So if you are not seeing results in your diet, if you're not seeing results anywhere, it's because you're not eating the right foods. If you're struggling, download the meal plan. That's what I did. I've done led by example right there. I felt rubbish traveling. I had no food. When we went to the service stations, there was nothing I really wanted to eat. I've, res I've resolved that, I've made food, I've prepped. So that's what you have to do. You have to put in the effort to make it work. Put in the effort and don't just make it and leave it in the fridge. Make sure that you're eating it. Make sure that you are really making good foods that are gonna support your diet, okay? I do eat fruit, Tina. I have um, bananas in my pancakes in the morning and with some berries as well. And I like to eat apples as well. Hi. Hi. So that's me leading by example. I've showed you there. Um, I've showed you exactly how I would rectify my situation if I'm traveling, etc. I've showed you loads of tips and tricks as well over the time of what. To... Yeah, I've made extra anoush for Sean. I always make sure I make extra because Sean's the same. He gets the services and there's like nothing. The problem is we ha we. I don't I don't think you um, appreciate that we never have a day off. So we can't just go on holiday and eat an ice cream and put on five pounds because that's never an option for us so even when we're traveling we have to almost make sure that even if we have a cheat meal it's planned like our cheat meal has to be almost like midweek so we can make sure that we're like working it off during the week or it has to be on our rest day and then it, it all has to be planned quite carefully because we're online and we're on every single day we only get Sundays off um, and Sundays sometimes we're traveling so we don't even get that off so when we get to the services and everyone else is eating Big Macs and burgers and all the things. We don't have that option. So we have to almost either not not have it, which is better than having it, or we have to make allowances like I had the boiled eggs that they sell there or 
you just pick something that will get you through. So I always make sure that I always have something extra for Sean as well because he's the same as me. It's very difficult to find the right foods when you're traveling and you just have to, you have to commit, you have to put in the effort. It, it t honestly, that took me last night. You've seen how I cook my chicken. I put it in tin foil, put it in the oven, um, tablespoon of coconut oil, leave it, 450, 20 minutes, done. Job done, all of those are done. Those, those rices, you just put them in the microwave, they're done. It takes no time at all. The only thing that's stopping you from getting in the best shape of your life and not getting your food right is you. That's it, and me. So that's why I, ch that's why I changed it, so yeah. Banaz, go to bodyrock.tv and go to the meal plan, it's right there. So yeah, you can down, you can follow exactly what I eat and you can follow what Sean eats. So that's it. So I've been talking, it is up to you Laura, it's up to you, it's definitely up to you. We can give you the tools and we can help you and we can guide you in the right way but at the end of the day, if you're putting the stuff in your gob that's not going to take you forward, it's just taking you backwards, then you have to you have to own up to the fact that you're never going to be lean because you're not giving you that chance to even try and be lean. And if you're not even going to give yourself a month, then you're never going to do it. You need at least 30 days to change your habit. I do eat protein bars, Aline. Um, I try to stay away from them as, as much as I can, but I do eat them because they're just the handiest thing. So yeah, I like the vegan ones um, with the form, um, with the... I thought they called Vega ones, I like the one, those ones, and I like cross bars, but I go to a phase of cross bars, sometimes I just get to the point where I just can't even face another cross bar, so. Rosa Freddy, Freddy is one of these people that he will, he will work all day long and then he'll just have whatever he wants to eat because he deserves it, because he's not, he, he, sometimes he'll go all day because he works all day long and never even like think about eating and then at the end of the day he just does a burger because he deserves it. So yeah, he, he just he does whatever works for him. I'm 36. Hi Kimberly. Sarah, um the depends how long ago you brought it. The what the latest one has um vegan, vegetarian and gluten-free options. So if yours has got that, that's the one that's the newest one. Hi, hi Ashley. So, jump rope is an amazing workout. So I'm gonna go, so I've given you your workout for your 100 day challenge today. I've given you what I want to see, um, your bonus wise, your finisher. And I'm gonna post what my weights were so you can try and see if you're like pushing as hard as you should. I'm not saying that you have to do the weights I'm doing. I'm not saying that at all. I want you to go at your max reps, your max weights. So, I am going to go and I'm gonna see you at three o'clock tomorrow from Toronto. And uh, happy Valentine's if it's the 14th to all of you out there. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, hi, Kimberly. Love you. Bye. Bye, everyone.